What's going on, guys? So I want to thank EA for hooking us up with a copy of Battlefield 2042. This is my first 2042 video, and I wanted to put this out here because this is something that changed my entire experience. If you are having issues and insecurities with your aiming, if something just feels off, if it's not as responsive and you can't flick and track and you just seem like it just feels weird, you're not alone. This was something that was happening to me, and I was getting frustrated. I didn't know what was going on. But fortunately, I saw a video from Baranox, which I will leave linked in the description below. This video helped me tremendously. It's a few setting changes inside your mouse and keyboard and your controller settings. But ultimately, the goal here is to have them uniform, as a lot of people believe that acceleration and other settings from controller are actually conflicting with mouse settings as well. So if you are a mouse user, change these. Whether or not you notice it or not, or whether or not it may be affecting you, changing these things can't hurt you anyways. You might as well do it until we have some sort of updates down the line. Uh, for a controller player, you don't necessarily need to follow all of these, but I honestly can speak and say that it probably can't hurt to at least make sure that the stats, the basic aim settings are uniform from the mouse and keyboard and controller settings. So follow these few things, and hopefully this improves your aim and your reliability in something more comfortable from what we've been used to with other battlefields. Now, right here under this setting, these four stats, they need to be uniform with the on-foot settings for controllers. So these are all personal preference. Field of view, again, on or off, that's up to you. But I have all of these settings, and I need to make sure that they match with the on-foot settings with controller, which, as you can see, they do. The only difference right here is that we also have the aim assist and aim zoom snap all the way cranked down, as this is potentially one of the things that's conflicting with the aim issues over on PC with mouse and keyboard. Uh, so that being said, turn those off. If you are a controller player, you don't need to do that. Uh, moving back on over to mouse and keyboard, the only other thing you need to worry about is scroll down to advanced over here on the on foot settings and turn on the USA. This is something that's supposed to help with muscle memory for aiming. The coefficient you can set to 178 and have these two right here, the vertical mouse aim ratio and zoom aim ratio set to 100. Again, it's all about keeping it uniform. So we're going to go back over to controller and do that as well. So one more thing we need to do while we're over here is take this acceleration and take it all the way down. Acceleration, I just simply don't understand. There's never been a situation where I find people that like this on any setting. We've seen issues like this that have complicated games and people have worked around with Windows settings and everything to change these things. And generally, whenever I see that word, I'm like, eh, eh. And I'm not very versed in this kind of experience, and even I know that, right? So again, these four stats need to be uniform. The 178 on 100, 100, and that's all it takes, guys. So I want to thank Baranox for creating that video, and I wanted to just put this out there so more people could see it, and it can honestly do away with some of those frustrations and inconsistencies that we've had with aiming, and hopefully this helps you. So please let me know down in the comment section below. I don't know if this is going to do much for those that may be dealing with certain similar experiences with controller, but hopefully some of those help. I mean, even if it's just keeping like the standard aim settings on part, maybe that will contribute and help you in some way and just give you a healthier experience. But this has honestly changed everything for me, and I feel like I'm back in a battlefield, and I feel like I'm back in control of my aim, and I hope it does it for you as well. So thank you again for your time. Thanks for sharing part of your day. Click that subscribe button and tick that bell so you don't miss any future 2042 uploads, and I will see you with another one soon.